Hi, in this session I'm going to cover the how to use the lookup function. The lookup function was is a distant cousin, when you think about it, to the VLOOKUP function. And it takes actually two forms. It, it can take the vector form or the array form. So let's cover the array form first. Let, and the array form is very similar to the VLOOKUP function, but with a, a little more limit with a few more limitations you really think about it. So let's say we want to look up the value of HQ1. I'll type in HQ1 because it's uh, this is actually not case sensitive. And we want our result, our result, we want the get the product ID when we see HQ1 here. So with the lookup function, we just type in equal look up and we're gonna look up this value. And so you can see how it gives the screen tip gives us our two options, either the a vector form or the array form. So as I mentioned before, we're going to use the array form here first. And basically the array form is our table here. So what it's going to do, it's going to look in the first column and it will give us the results in the last column. Uh, so it's very similar to a VLOOKUP function, but you don't get to specify which column you want to look in. It's always going to look in the last column. So if we press enter, we'll see that we get a non uh, an NA error and that is because we one of the things that you need to do is put the values in ascending order uh, because it does an approximate match so we have to go and sort this and you see once we sort it it will find the it will result in the correct uh, result that's one of the limitations of the lookup value the lookup function, but it, it, it's something you can use for, I guess, kind of a quick and dirty way to do some quick lookups. And that is the array portion, the array example. Now, the other example is a little bit more useful when you really think about it. It's the uh, vector form. And let's say we want to look at the product ID and bring back something, bring back the location uh, result. Uh, so this is something where in Let's say, for example, we're doing VLOOKUPs, we can only look to our right of our lookup value. But with the lookup function, we can look to the left of our, our lookup function. Let's go ahead and change this to maybe we want to look up uh, A1. And then now for our lookup, let me bring up the insert function arguments window. So it's going to ask us to select the arguments. Do we want the array or the, the vector form? We're going to use the vector form. which we, we just click OK here. And our lookup value is correct. at C3. We want to look, where do we want to look that up? We want to look it up in the product ID column. So we're going to select that here. And we want to, our results want, we want our results here on the left. We want the location. Now one thing, interesting thing here too is with the and also in this instance where we're doing the vector form we want to have it also does an approximate match and the value should be in ascending order now I'll, I'll tell you why I'll give you, I'll give you an example why but let's go ahead and click OK here and we'll see that when it looks up a a1 it actually brings back the correct the uh, correct um, item and as I mentioned before this needs to be in a sort in ascending order and you will see why uh, let's go ahead and sort this. And let's say that we want it, we change this to A10. And we want to look up value A10. We would think that it would bring us back HQ7, but it doesn't. It brings us back HQ2. That's because it's doing an approximate match. It's going down. It's going out alphabetically, alphabetic, alphabetically, and then numerically first. It's going down here, and it, once it sees A10, it stops and goes back up, and brings us back HQ2. And that's why you have to sort it in ascending order. So if we did do a sort in ascending order, we just right-click here and go under sort. We'll see that the A10 launched itself back up in the second place here, and that lookup function correctly. I'd, but brought back the result, brought back the result of HQ7. So there's an example of using the lookup function. It, it, it's a function where if you want to do something, I, I think the most useful part of it is you'll be able to look up and get results on 
the left of your lookup column. Um, so that, that's one of the pluses of the lookup function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.